Tonight, the community is rallying together to support the family of a young teen who was shot at the Santan Park in Chandler. And his parents are speaking publicly for the first time about what happened that night. Fox 10's Irene Snyder is live with the details. Irene. Brian and Linda, that team was shot in this Chandler Park exactly one week ago today. His mom tells me that he was out playing basketball with his brothers when someone came up and shot him in both legs. And today, the community came out here to the same park to rally and support the family. We need less violence. We need more love. We need more compassion. Yolanda and Everett Watson speaking out one week after their 13-year-old son was shot down while playing basketball in their neighborhood park. When you see your son lying in a pool of blood and um, you're not sure what's going on, then you ask the officer, you know, yes. where was he shot? They said both legs. Yes. I just broke down. I can't take it. Believing that he might not make it through, the teen still sprawled out on the ground, managed a few words for his mother. He's saying how much he loves us. He loves to tell my brother I love them. I didn't realize the lady talking to my son that he thought, Mommy, I thought I was going to die there, so I just wanted to make sure you knew I loved you. But his parents never gave up hope, and they say they kept on praying. Thankfully, their son did make it through. He was airlifted to Phoenix Children's Hospital, underwent surgery, and is now recovering. Police officers, the, the, the hospital doctors, the surgeons, they all did amazing. And my son is here because God put him power on them to get it all done. And it turns out that some good did come from this tragedy. This weekend, community members and the Chandler Police Department came together in the very park where the teen was shot to show their support for him and his parents. Terrible crime happened here and, you know, the reality is, is the family needed the support. They needed to know we were here. Because Yolanda says even in times of darkness, there is always light and it's the light that prevails. I'm appreciative of seeing God's hand in people. That's how we have to be. We have to be the agents of the Most High. And police are still searching for the suspects in this case. They're asking that anyone with information contact the Chandler Police Department. Reporting live tonight in Chandler, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.